keep them home. I got groceries. Get ready for taco night. Babe? Where are you? <laughs> oh, crap. Why did I leave those there? Someday my obituary is going to read killed in a tragic Spike Heel accent. Ugh. Babe? Tacos? Come on, you know I'm a disaster with a cheese grater. Think of all the band-aids I'll waste if I have to do all the chopping by myself. <laughs> I need my sous chef. Ah. Hi, Meatball. Ah. Ah, ah, no tacos for you. You're on a diet. Oh, don't look at me like that. Ah. Okay, one piece of cheese under the table, but don't gloat. We're trying to get you in shape. Ah. Okay, yes, technically round is a shape, but it's not the one the vet says you should be in. Mm. Babe? You in the living room? Nope. Uh, kitchen, maybe? No. Huh. Well, okay, groceries onto the counter. Mm. I'll be back for you in a minute. Yeah. Ah, don't even think about trying to get into the bags, mister. Babe? Where are you? <laughs> maybe the bedroom? Aha! I found you. <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. I was expecting you to be at the door to greet me like you always are. <laughs> Sorry, that makes it sound like you're a golden retriever or something. You know what I mean. <laughs> you you didn't hear me come in. Well, that's a first. <laughs> you know me, lumbering around like an elephant on ice skates. <laughs> you know I almost went ass over tea kettle when I came in just now? I thought for sure you'd come running to make sure I didn't bash my head open on something. <laughs> <sighs> Babe? What's wrong? Why the long face? No, don't tell me it's nothing. I know when something's bothering you. If you spent a weekend in Vegas with that poker face, you'd lose your shirt. Come on, spill it. You know, I'm not going to stop bothering you until you tell me. <laughs> I love you too much to let you wrestle with a case of the sads all by yourself. Come on. Come on. I'm not going to stop poking at you until you spill the beans. See? Poke, poke, poke. <laughs> These are love pokes. Annoying love pokes. <laughs> okay, I'll be serious. You can tell me anything. You know that, right? You can tell me anything, and I'm more than happy to listen. If you need help or advice or just need someone to vent to, you can always come to me. I always have time for you. I mean, look at me right now. I, I got nothing but time. <laughs> poke. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's let's sit down on the bed and talk about it. Hang on, let me let me take off my coat, toss it somewhere it won't drip. It's snowing like crazy out there. <sighs> there we go. All right, hang on. <laughs> let me get my arms around you and everything. <clears throat> now, tell me what's wrong. You're feeling down? Hmm. Any particular reason you need to talk about? Or is this more of a general blah that I can cure with fresh baked cookies and cuddles and movie night. Oh. Okay, it's a more serious one than that. You, you feel like you're not good enough? Good enough for what? Me? Everything? And you think you don't do enough? Uh, well... <laughs> All right, I gotta stop you right there. Uh, no, I'm stopping you right there. Mm -mm. I won't let you keep saying those things about yourself. They're not true. And besides, I don't allow bullies in the house. Well, except Meatball, but he's a cat, so he gets a pass. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't argue with me. <laughs> You're bullying yourself, and I won't have it. You wouldn't let me be mean to myself like this, would you? No, you wouldn't. I will brook no argument on this point. Yeah, it's totally a word. Do you, do you like it? It was today's entry on my word of the day calendar. <laughs> Fancy. But back to the topic at hand, babe. Listen, I, I understand how you feel. Everyone at some point feels like they're not good enough and they don't deserve what they have. I mean, I do sometimes. Yes, I do. You know my background. It's not exactly the greatest. Enough people tell you you're worthless for long enough and of course you start believing it. But that doesn't make it true. I mean, look, do, do you think I deserve everything? 
to be loved and, and happy, to feel secure and safe? Well, trust me, you do too. You deserve those things. You do deserve to be happy. Everyone does. Well, maybe not people who like drown kittens for kicks, but that's not you. And you're not just good enough. You're perfect to me. Yes, you are. You might not believe it, but it's true. I wouldn't change anything about you. I fell in love with you. I wouldn't trade you for anything else in the world. Not even, a, I don't know, a, a lifetime supply of cherry cheesecake. <laughs> and you know how many people I would murder for a lifetime supply of cherry cheesecake. No, come on, babe, no. You're not annoying, and, and you aren't a fuck-up. Do I get grumpy sometimes when you don't pick up your dirty socks? I mean, sure, but you get grumpy when I forget to turn off the lights behind me. Which I think I did when I came in. Oh, well, it's not important. This is, this is more important right now. But that kind of thing doesn't mean you aren't perfect. I, I take a thousand years of picking up your dirty socks over someone who never leaves laundry lying around, you know? Because it'd be a thousand years with you, silly. What? Oh, what do you mean, don't I wish you were better? Oh, babe, how can I put this? Uh, look, this whole being human thing, it's about growing, changing, evolving. And being in a relationship is about doing those things together. And, and supporting each other along the way. Think of it like, uh, we're walking a long road together. I'm happy to be by your side where we are right now. I don't want you to be a mile ahead of me, and I don't want to run ahead and leave you a mile behind. I'm happy with where we are now. In a year, we'll have grown beyond this point, just because that's what people do. And, and five years after that, even farther, and 20 years after that. But we'll have done it together. So, no, I, I don't wish you were better. Because I know if, if we keep moving together, we'll grow in ways we can't possibly imagine. And we'll both be right where we need to be the whole way. Right now, you are right where you need to be. That's what I mean by you're perfect to me, just the way you are. It's, it's not some bullshit platitude or just because I'm in love with you and have rose-colored glasses on, I promise. I know you're human, and, and humans are flawed. I'm flawed. You're perfect to me doesn't mean we never make mistakes or get on each other's nerves or that we'll never improve from this point. It means when push comes to shove, I would rather be with you as you are right now than anyone else ever. And that will never change. Oh, oh yeah? Well, I, I don't care if anyone else agrees or disagrees. I say you're perfect, and I will not listen to anyone who says otherwise. I mean, whose opinion matters more, huh? Mine or someone else? <sighs> you still aren't convinced, huh? Well, all right. How about this? I'll tell you a few of the things I love about you, and that way... You will know how amazing you are. Let's see. Okay, first, you have the most beautiful eyes in the world. I, I know it's cliche, but it's true. And what I love most about them is the way they light up when you're talking about something you're interested in. <laughs> They're just so bright, you know? You get excited about something, and then I get excited, and it becomes this wonderful feedback loop where we just geek out together. <laughs> And then there's that cute smile of yours that always melts my heart every single time, no matter how mad I am or sad I am. And just in case you think I'm shallow, it's not just that the smile is adorable, which it is. It's how much I love being the one to make you smile. And, and you know that one smile that spreads really slow from one side of your mouth to the other? The, the one that happens when you're not really thinking about it and you're just doing your own thing. You don't even know I'm looking. Ah, that one is my favorite. Just, oh, it makes me tingly all over. <laughs> your hair is so soft and fun to play with. 
And uh, that, that body wash you use, oh, you know, sometimes when you shower and it gets all steamy, I can smell it clear across the house and it's, it's like my brain just goes offline. <laughs> And it's not just the body wash, so don't think you'd do that to me with just anyone. I've smelled it on other people, and it doesn't make me go all stupid. <laughs> it's, it's the particular mix of you and that scent that turns me into a total bimbo at the drop of a hat. I can't even tell you how many times I'm just trying to work, and, and you go shower and come back all fresh and clean, and I just, I cannot focus on anything else but craving cuddles. Your cuddles. You. <laughs> And I love the way your hands feel when I hold them in mine. Like they were just made for each other, you know? Pieces of a puzzle, they just fit together perfectly. I mean, look, look, look. <laughs> not too big, not too small. And other than physical stuff, you also have a great sense of humor. I can't even count the times you've made me laugh so hard I felt like I was going to just die. Like, um, last week, you, you remember we ordered Chinese and you did that thing with the chopsticks? Oh my god, I laughed so hard I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> like, my abs hurt so much it felt like I did 500 sit-ups. It's the best workout I've had in years. <laughs> Nobody can make me laugh like that but you. And even when your jokes aren't that funny... Your own laughter is just so contagious. I, I can't help but laugh with you. And, and you do this thing with your nose where it scrunches up on the bridge and the corner of your eyes crinkle. Oh, I love that so much. Mm. You're really smart and you have talents I wish I had. <sighs> I love to listen to your thoughts on stuff. You always have something interesting to say, which you know my attention span. <laughs> I zone out so much with other people, but not you. And and even when we disagree about something, I I do love to hear your reasons for why you hold your opinion. I just love to see the way your mind works. And as if all that weren't enough, you're sweet. N not just nice and polite, which anyone can fake, but you're kind and you're caring. Not just to me, but to others, too. So many people love you and, and appreciate you way more than you realize. And, and even if they didn't, that wouldn't mean that you don't deserve to be loved and appreciated. You also have the most adorable reactions when I surprise you with a hug or a kiss. <laughs> yeah, just like that. <laughs> but... What I love about you most of all is how determined you are. No matter what's in front of you, you always keep pressing forward. Even if something manages to stop you, it's temporary. You, you never stop for long. <laughs> How's that old song go? Uh, you pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again? Do you have any idea how admirable that is? I mean... Something happens, and, and before you know it, you're back on your feet and moving forward again. Anytime something pushes you down, you get back up, stronger than before. I know you're feeling insecure now. Everyone does sometimes. But I also know that you'll bounce back. I believe in you. I know that you will, because that's who you are. That's what I've always admired about you, even before we started dating. And that's why, no matter how you may be feeling now, I'm always proud of you. I mean, how could I not be, huh? After all those virtues I just lectured you about? <laughs> hmm. Are you feeling a little better now? Can I get a smile? Just, just a little one? Ah, <laughs> there it is. That's what I like to see. Mm. Your happiness means the world to me. I, I mean that. Oh, there's no need to thank me. I'm, I'm always happy to remind you why you're awesome. <laughs> I mean, would someone as cool as me love you if you weren't? 
Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> Anytime you feel like this, just come to me and I'll tell you all the reasons why I love you and why you're perfect to me. Of course you can have a hug. You don't even need to ask. <sighs> I will always be by your side. Forever and always. <laughs> Got that? You're not getting rid of me. <laughs> okay. Now that you remember what an amazing person you are, how about we go have dinner? I'm starving. Like, cuddling is really nice, but I swear I am this close to just eating your face. Oh, sure. I'd love to watch a movie while we eat. Mm, what do you think we should pick? Ooh, great idea. I haven't seen that one. Oh, and, uh, and babe. I'm so glad you're part of my life. You really do mean everything to me. I love you. So much. Now, <laughs> come help me dice tomatoes. Oh my god, I left Meatball alone with the taco meat. We gotta go.